That's right. Despite what the medical examiner is saying, many people do not believe Cunningham took his own life. This is a story that has gained national attention since we started covering it. The 35 year old went missing back in February. Then nearly a month later, a fisherman found his body at the Chattahoochee River. Officials also said Cunningham had marijuana in his system when he died, but it did not contribute to his death. Now, since his disappearance, the conspiracy theory started coming in. Many people have doubts about the cause of death. Someone on our face Facebook page asked who's to say he didn't fall in and get swept away then drowned because of how controversial this case has become online. We talked to a medical examiner not related to this case to answer that question. There's a very painstaking process that starts with uh, x-raying the whole body and then really doing a very, very careful autopsy to try to find evidence of any injuries that may explain why the person is dead or why they couldn't get out of the water. And right now, police have not released the entire case file yet. We're still waiting for that information to come in sometime this week, Sheba.